So Larkin makes a huge impact in Belfast. By the way, he was only there for probably less than six months his entire life, so his impact in the city is quite extraordinary. So in Townsend Street in December 1908, dockers from the ports you can see listed there formed the ITGW. And this is undoubtedly a moment not alone in labour history, but in Irish history, because these ordinary, poorly educated men had an immediate sense of what they were doing was historic. In 1911, when the Irish worker appears, they regularly use phrases like, never in our union's history. This is an organization two and a bit years old. So they have a, a, a sense of historic purpose. And as Karen will show later on, women become very quickly active in this organization. It ceases to be simply a male organization. Now, as in Donna McDonough's favorite, uh, famous song in Dublin City in 1913, the ITGW, Jim Larkin, comes as a mighty wave. It transforms a supine uh, Irish labour movement, informed by these four perspectives. They weren't new, they weren't original, they had been applied in Ireland before, but they had never been applied as consistently and as coherently as in the case of the ITGW, which in a very lengthy and very unusual preamble to its rule book, uh, speaks at great length about the ambition to create not just a trade union, but something that would achieve the Cooperative Commonwealth, the Workers' Republic. An Irish union for Irish workers, this was not a negative, narrow, anti-British, nationalist um, statement. This was a recognition that conditions in Ireland, and in Dublin in particular, were peculiar and specific and required an organisation locally based to deal directly with those conditions. If you were an unskilled worker, uh, you could be easily replaced if you went on strike. And a lot of uh, Dublin employers, in any case, retained uh, reserve armies of people that could replace uh, people that attempted to change conditions. Whereas if you were a craftsman, if you were a carpenter or an electrician or somebody with a trade and you're, you went on strike, your employer would have to get somebody equally skilled. So one of the ways that the transport union and general unions uh, dealt with that was if there was a strike here, we brought everybody out, each for all and all for each. And that use of the sympathetic strike, which was uh, common uh, across these islands and indeed globally, in, in Dublin, uh, begins to acquire this new term, Larkinism.